So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a groundwater head map using ITW interpolation method in RGIS so now let's get started so now to create a groundwater head map using ITW interpolation the following steps will be covered so first we're gonna save our excel file as a csv file format containing sample id latitude longitude and groundwater level and followed by we're gonna download and visualize our SRTM dem and next we're gonna extract extract the z value or the elevation head from the SRTM dem and uh, I will show you the formula to calculate the groundwater head and last we're gonna perform IW interpolation to find the spatial groundwater head map so now let's get started so now let me explain about what is groundwater head and groundwater level in hydrology so in hydrology the understanding the groundwater dynamics is crucial for water resource management environmental protection and engineering applications the two fundamental concepts in the field are the groundwater head and groundwater level. While they are related, they have a distinct definition and implications. So now let me explain about what is a groundwater head. So groundwater head is also known as the hydraulic head. It is a specific measure of the energy or the potential of groundwater at a given point within an aquifer. It is a critical concept in hydrogeology and is used to describe the, the driving force behind the groundwater flow. So the components in the groundwater head, it includes the elevation head, which is represented in Z. This is a vertical distance from the reference point, usually the mean sea level to the point of interest within the aquifer. And next component is our pressure head or the groundwater level. So this represents the height of the water column that could exert the same pressure as the found at the point of interest within aquifer. It is often measured using piezometer. So mathematical expression to calculate the groundwater head. So to calculate the groundwater head, so groundwater head equals to Z represents the, the elevation head and this particular symbol here represents the pressure head or the groundwater level. So this is a, a example here. So containing sample ID, latitude and longitude, groundwater level and MSL here represents the mean sea level or the Z value. So here the groundwater level is 1.8 and MSL is 5. So to find the groundwater head, we apply this uh, mathematical expression that is Z minus pressure head or the groundwater level. So Z minus groundwater level. So 5 minus 1.8 which gives us the groundwater head. So the significance, the groundwater head is a measure of potential energy available to the drive the groundwater flow. So groundwater flow from a region of higher head to a region of lower head following the hydraulic head or also called as a groundwater head. So measurement, the groundwater head is uh, typically measured using a piezometer or the observation wells. The measurement involves determining the height to which the water rises in the well related to the known reference point. That is, that is our Z value or MSL value. So this is an Excel containing sample ID, latitude and longitude, groundwater level and well type. So now we're going to import this Excel file into ArcGIS. So for that, we're going to save as a CSV file format. We're going to navigate to this option called File and click as Save As and browse to the folder location where you could like to save your file. So now I have navigated to the folder location. So I'm going to save this Excel as Groundwater Head and in the Save As type, we're going to select as CSV file format that is CSV, Delimited. And now click Save to save as a CSV file format. So once you're done saving, now navigate to your arc map. So this is my uh, arc map interface. So in the table of contents section, we have two different layers. One we have our study area and followed by we have our SRTM dem. So a link will be given in the description to how to download an SRTM dem from the USGS Earth Explorer. So now to uh, add our groundwater head Excel into our arc map, we're going to navigate to this option called add data. Click this option called add data. Now navigate to the folder location where you saved your the groundwater head Excel. So now I have navigated the folder location of groundwaterhead.csv. I'm going to click this file and click this option called add. So once you did that, the Excel files get added in our, as a CSV file format, added in our arc map. So I'm going to right click on this and click this option called display XY data. And now select the YX field as longitude and Y field as latitude. Just choose your coordinate system, click this option called edit. So now I'm going to select this particular coordinate system called GCS that is Geographic Coordinate System WGS 1984. 
or you can able to navigate this option called geographic coordinate system in that we can navigate down here in the world we're gonna click this coordinate system called WGS 1984 and now click OK so GCS WGS 1984 and now click OK so click OK so now the point data has been added into our ArcMap here you can able to see that so now to uh, export let us export as a shape file we can right click click this option called data export data so choose your folder location where you could like to save your your point shape file here that is groundwater head so now I'm gonna click save so once you did that it's gonna export the the point data as a shape file so now let me remove this so now let us check out the attribute table we're gonna for this layer we're gonna right click and click this option called open attribute so it is containing about sample ID latitude longitude groundwater level and well type we're gonna close this so next we're gonna extract our elevation value or the Z value from this SRTM dem so for that we're gonna navigate to this option called in the search section so we're gonna enter as extract multi value to point so now I have entered as extract multi value to point so we're gonna click this tool called extract multi value to point so basically what uh, what this tool does is extract the cell value of the location specified in the point feature classes from one or most raster and records the values to the attribute table of the point feature class so in the input feature or input point feature we're going to select our the groundwater head that is gwh and input raster will be our srtm dem that is this particular raster layer terrain elevation so once you did that we're going to click this option called ok it's going to extract the z values from this srtm dem So now the tool has managed to run so we have extracted our z value so we're going to right click here and click this option called open attribute so now here you can able to visualize the z value so which is rare, uh, represented as a field called terrain elevation that is represented the z value for each of the sample locations you can able to see that the z values are for this particular sample id is one it is six and for this uh, sample id s12 it is represented as seven meter or z value these represents the z value so now we have managed to extract our z value from our srtm dam so now we have our groundwater level as well as the z value so now we can able to find the groundwater head so before finding the groundwater head now let me explain what is a groundwater level is so groundwater level refers to the surface where the pressure head is equal to the atmospheric pressure it is the depth at which the ground is saturated with water and is often equated to the water table in unconfined uh, aquifers so the water table in unconfined aquifer the groundwater level is referred to as the water table which is the upper surface of the zone of saturation so the potentiometric surface in confined aquifers the groundwater level is the level to which the water will rise in a tightly cased well and it represents the potentiometric surface significance the groundwater level is critical parameter for understanding the availability of groundwater resources determining the depth of well and managing the irrigation and drinking water supplies the variation in the groundwater level can indicate a changes in recharge and discharge and storage within the aquifers so the groundwater level are measured using a monitoring wells or a boreholes a water level meter or the tape is commonly used to measure the distance from the ground surface to the water surface within the well so this is how we can measure the groundwater level for the wells and for monitoring wells as well as the boreholes. So now let me get back get back to my arc map. So now to find the groundwater head, let us create a new uh, field. So navigate to this option here, and in that we're gonna click this option called Add Field. So now let me enter as GWH, that is groundwater head. So the data type we're gonna select to be is, it will be the float, and now click OK to create a field called groundwater head. So now we're gonna right click and uh, click this option called field calculator and click yes. So now to calculate the groundwater head, let me show you the formula. So this is the formula to calculate the groundwater head that is groundwater head equals to elevation head minus groundwater level. Let me show you that. So this is our elevation head and this is our groundwater level. To find the groundwater head, so elevation head minus groundwater level to find groundwater head. 
So in the field calculator, we're going to navigate to this field called terrain EL, which represents our the elevation uh, head. We're going to click this, double click, and uh, we're going to add our minus sign. So minus the groundwater level. So we're going to double click this particular field called groundwater level. So now click OK to find the groundwater head. So it is calculating the records here. So now we have managed to find the groundwater head. So using this particular formula, that is groundwater head equals to elevation head minus groundwater level. So now uh, let me close this. So navigate to the search section here and click this option called IDW. Enter IDW. So now I have entered as IDW. I'm going to click this option called search and click this option called IDW spatial analyst tool. So to create a spatial groundwater head map, so uh, we're going to use the IDW uh, tool here. So in the input uh, point feature, we're going to enter, we're going to click this point feature called GWH. So in the Z value field, we're going to select this uh, field called GWH, uh, that is groundwater head. And choose your folder location where you would like to save this file. So I'm going to save as uh, GWH.tiff. I'm going to click save and leave the rest as this default and navigate to this option called environments. So navigate to this option called processing extent and that in extent we're going to select our study area and similarly in the raster analysis section we're going to navigate to this option called mask we're going to click this down arrow we're going to select study area and click OK and now click OK. So now we have managed to create a groundwater head map here so let me navigate to this option here and click this option called properties. So now let me reduce the number of classes to be around six. And now select your color ramp. So let me select this particular color ramp here. And now click OK. So now we have managed to create a groundwater head map using in RGIS. So let me explain about this groundwater head map here. So groundwater head map is also known as a potential metric surface map is a crucial tool in hydrology used to represent the elevation at which the groundwater could stand in tightly cased well. This map provides a visual representation of an hydraulic head distribution within an aquifer which is essential for understanding the groundwater flow and the behavior of aquifers. So from this map you can able to visualize the bluer region which indicates the higher groundwater head and the red or region which indicates the, the lower groundwater head. And the yellow, yellow region here represents the moderate level of groundwater head in this study area. So now let me create the groundwater head map. So now we have managed to create a groundwater head map for this specific study area. So in this video I have shown you how to create the groundwater head map using IDW interpolation method in RGIS. So thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to our channel and give us a like.